Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet. We're back here with our Tennis Manager 2023 save with Krusty Bun at the uh, Custard Tennis Academy. And um, yeah, in the last episode, we got as far as the final of the Junior US Open. Sadly, we were not able to win it. Uh, we lost and that put pay to our dream of winning all four of the uh, Grand Slam tournaments in one calendar year. We'd won the first three and got to the final in the last one, and but a surprise loss, three-set loss against Reda Banani. Uh, after, in both sets, we looked like we should have enough to get through them. Don't know what happened, but Krusty, he, he's, he's not happy. And he's out here in France and looking to do the business there. Yeah, folks, so he's um, he's currently in Orleans in France. Um, so I'm not entirely sure where that is. I know where Orleans in uh, Canada is. Um, 73rd uh, ranked in the world uh, after, I'm not sure, well, he didn't actually pick up more ranking points, but he has qualified. Uh, he's got all the way through to the semi-finals. But I just want to quickly give a little update into the academy infrastructure and how things are going there. And I noticed this when I was looking at it. The directors are furious at us for not increasing the reputation of the academy uh, to um, average. Now, how on earth can we increase the reputation of the academy if we do not have um, any uh, any money to do that? We're, we're having to build the money up ourselves. We've just made another upgrade, which will be coming in fairly soon. But what am I supposed to do? Maybe it is bringing another player in, and that's what they want. In that thought i thought perhaps before we bring in another player we should upgrade at least uh, or at least bring put in some indoor courts which only costs about fifty two thousand um pounds and actually we should actually make money on those uh, i guess because we rent uh, rent those out to like local people but we'd have a 2.9 percent increase there in the sports center so i guess they want it to be up here i don't know so this is where we are, and you can see we have this is what talent zone means, but our overall reputation is one and a half is one one and a half tennis balls. Uh, so I mean it's it's an average of what's there, and I don't really see there's a way around this. I mean we've got we've got Krusty. And he's good, but I mean, yeah, we bring in another player, but it says here this is going to be worked on the average of the player's level. So if we bring another player in, all we're going to be able to bring in is someone who's a lot lower. That's going to bring the average down. So I'm not seeing how that will improve. And we are doing our best to to upgrade some of these other things, but we're not we're not anywhere near yet near there yet. So. We'll have to see how to how to do that, but I think we are going to spend the money on the on the indoor courts. So this is the Orleans Open. It's an MTL Pro One Two Five event, so that's the highest level we've we've ever won at before, um, and we did that a couple of episodes ago. And you can see Krusty here in the round of thirty two. He got through against Giulio Zapperi, who is a wild card, two hundred eighth in the world, six three six four, fairly comfortable. Nuno Borges uh, from Portugal, who is a wild card at 187th, he beat him 6363, and he's just beaten a qualifier who is ranked a little bit lower, still 305th, 6263. And Krusty now has a match against a Frenchman, Maxime uh, Yanvier, uh, and then will play one of the Chilean Nicolas Yari or the Pole Max yeah, Kashinkowski, who have yeah, a slightly better ranking uh, than anyone they've played yet. So that would be the challenging one. Winner will get £40,000. There's 125 ATP points on offer. So this is going to do a big bump in Krusty's ranking again. Let's go and play. So Yanvier is in excellent form. His win rate on indoor courts is 62%. Remember, we don't have the indoor court boost bonus because we don't actually have... An indoor court at the academy. This is why it's good to get that in. 
He is a power player, so we know what we're going to get. Serve accuracy for and accuracy. What well, we're going to be playing on his backhand. His weakness is confidence and volley. So if we get ahead, hopefully that will be all we need to do. And he won't be able to come back from it. So let's see how we do. I'm expecting us to win this, but you just never know, do you? There we go. We've relaxed him. If we win or lose, I'll still beat you on the PlayStation tonight. Don't stress. Crusty. I don't think you'll be stressed for this, though. I, I, I think he's... You know, this is... This is, feels a lower level. Well, it's one all, and uh, Krusty has the advantage here on Yanvier's serve. He's 30-40 up. And it's a nice hit there. And uh, back to Juice. Well, 3-2. Yanvier now with a chance on Krusty's serve. 15-40. It's a lovely hit, but good return there meant that Krusty wasn't able to take advantage of that, but poor backhand, and Krusty's taken one of those break points away. Second serve, uh, let's serve, first serve again. Just goes down the middle with his serve, not trying anything too much. Goes for the line there, he hits the line, very nicely done, but no need to be that aggressive in that. He wasn't going to win, was he? Back to juice, though. Another chance for Yanvier. Is he going to take get a break here over Krusty at this stage? Krusty not going for the shots that you might expect him to. And that's gone way wide and long. Well, it's 6-5. And again, Yanvier with the advantage here. But Krusty does well. It's back to 30-40. But you've got to say, he's actually got had the better of Krusty in this first set. Other than the start. Yanvier has um, had a good few chances on the serve. Krusty's managed to hold hold uh, his serve at all at all chances though. Oh, he's long with that one, and there is the first set gone. Um, and that is not what I was expecting. One break point opportunity created, not good enough. Right, so we have just upped his attacking balance to make him a little bit more attacking here. See what we can do here. And Krusty straight through. Love 40. Wasn't expecting this to be as challenging as it is. And he's straight off the top of the racket. Krusty's first chance is given away. Great serve out wide. And Krusty really struggling to deal with this. Uh, Frenchman's uh, serves here. Oh, that's beautifully done. All three break points back. He's got a fourth one, though. Oh, and again off the top of the racket. Too many of these at key points. Three all, and Krusty with the advantage. It is a tight old game here. It's hard to know which way this is going, but you've got to say, oh, wow, it's it's catching. And at another key point, Krusty gets the break. 4-3. Well, <laughs> it's, he thought he was going to go and win the second set, but not so fast. He's got to get hold this uh, break opportunity at 5-4 up. Yanvier is 300th in the world, so this is oh, what a shot! Finds the corner, five all right. It's gone to uh, a tie break. So, what is going to happen here? Krusty has been disappointing. Looks like it is all over, folks. Krusty is 6 3 down, and is he going to be able to hold on? Yanvier into the net. Krusty's got another serve to hold, and there we go. So Done what he needs to do. Now this is the tough one. The NBA serve is very, very strong. I mean, if he can come back from this, it's just it would be a testament. He has got it back to six all, but he can he do enough to take the set? But it will be a testament to his ability on the tennis court and his his mental strength. Come on, Krusty. Goes for the drop shot. Maybe not the right decision. Oh, he's gone wide. It's 7-6. Krusty has now a serve for the set. 
the MVI is oh it's long wow well it was it's absolutely certain that that was going to be Krusty's and he would be uh, getting this set but he goes long with the winner unbelievable stuff come on Krusty Hard to know what is going on. Lovely shot, and he's gone, and he's got it back to eight seven. So he's got another set point. It's a nice hit. Just difficult place to to get a winner from there. Here he comes into the net. Bizarrely goes f straight at the. Um, player rather than to the side it's back to eight all wow coming in oh he's gone wide with a volley and Krusty now having to save it himself match point oh, just about caught the line with that nine all good god back to ten nine now Krusty on the Yanvier serve, got another second serve. He's had his chances. Yanvier's had his, and it's like seven six. What a set that was! Krusty taking it to three sets. And Krusty now 15 40 up on Yanvier's serve. 2 1. I mean, into the net, and it's 3 1. And this guy, he said his confidence, well, he's confident, he's stressed now. This is going to work in Krusty's favour. You, you have to believe. And what a match this has been. 5-3, 40 love now. Krusty has a match point. He, he may well still be getting to the final. And I'll go back to what I said earlier. Oh, it's just crept over, 40-15. If he can get something out of this match, it is an absolute tes testament to his mental fortitude. And he caught... I mean, wow. What a way to win it. Well, an epic. An absolute epic. Krusty gets through it. Uh, Five seven seven six six three, into the final he goes, and uh, I didn't didn't see this match being so difficult. But I think he can take a lot out of that, considering he's just come off a really tough uh, final where maybe his mental fortitude wasn't quite as strong as it should have been. So next on the chopping block, Nicholas Yari, fourth seed, hardest uh, player he's come across yet in this tournament. What's he going to do? He's in weak form. Uh, win rate is 58%. Um, and this player has not, never won at this level before. Pa another power player, though. So that, as we know, doesn't suit us brilliantly. We have upped his confidence to self-assured. Oh, we, I didn't look. I should have focused on... He's demotivated. So we'll have to work on that during the match. If we can... Remember, it's very, very difficult to alter the, those sort of things during the match we're using the uh, in-game talk but we'll try start with this uh, let's motivate we've decreased his relaxation because <laughs> it all makes sense an advantage early on and um, I mean that's what we expected to happen back to juice crusty another chance on the Yari serve I mean he would love to take an early lead Using all the court there, very nicely done. He's just gone long. It was perfect for um, direction, just not good enough. Advantage number three. Oh, that's a weak shot into the net. Well, it's chance now for Krusty to hold. He's uh, well. There we go. He's back to juice with that three, four, three. And again, we've got a set point here for Yari. 5-4, but this time Krusty can't win it with his serve. Oh, it stayed this side of the net. Another really easy one missed, and Krusty again potentially going to three sets, but maybe he's not going to be good enough to get through this. Right, second set, what we got? And it's not, I didn't change anything, and maybe I should have done. I was hoping he might sort of improve... 
<laughs> naturally. But uh, it's 15.40. And one love down already. So, And that's a poor shot. Right. So what we've got here with two love down. And real chance for Krusty to get right back out of this. 15.40. And uh, yeah, not quite good enough. He's just going a little bit off the boil at this end of the tournament. That's a lovely return though. Chance here. He's missed too many of these today. Well, that's that's very well done. Into the net, going for the pass. 2-1. Wow, really struggling on his serve for some reason. Oh my God. 3-1. And he's got a match point. And again, just not quite firing in the same way that he has been this season. Too many mistakes. We have to think about a way to put this right. And he could not. 6-4, 6-2, loss there. And uh, Krusty, well, he has to look at someone else holding the trophy for once. But, um, yeah, he's not going to be happy about that. He's annoyed. He's got a couple of games now, a couple of weeks off where he's going to be doing some training. We'll be working on, what are we going to be working on? So we're going to, I mean physically he's a, he's a bit of a specimen at the minute. But I think we're going to be working on um, to try and up his, his forehand uh, power and accuracy a little bit. I think that's probably a good place to, to improve. <sighs> You know, I think this is certainly a weakness in his game, his ability um, in rallies, considering that's what he's supposed to be doing. His, his return as well probably would be good to get up to 11 by next time. I think we'll be working yeah, more on the technicals than the physicals or the mentals for now, because I think physically he's certainly good enough. Anyway, folks, a little bit of a disappointing end to that, but another really, really good performance um, in, a, in, a, in a really high-level tournament. Uh, yes, he lost to someone outside the top 100. And he hasn't done that too often, but you know he can't be perfect all the time, can he? I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.